March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. It is a very common form of cancer, yet it's something many people find it hard to talk about. So here to help us with that today is Dr. Doug Benson. He is a colon and rectal surgeon at Sky Ridge Medical Center. So doctor, thank you so much for, for first of all, being with us today. You know, again, we say it, it's a hard cancer to talk about. Cancer is always difficult to talk about. When it comes to colon cancer, how common is it really and who's at most risk? So yeah, thanks again for having me on. So colon cancer, what I it, some people are shocked by, it, but I always say it's the third leading cause of cancer-related uh, death, second or second leading cause of cancer-related death in America. Third leading cause in men and women. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just men don't get breast very much breast cancer. Women obviously don't get prostate cancer, but it's a it's a common cause of cancer-related death. Yet it has a very good. Uh, survival rate if caught early. And not only that, and part of the reason to have an awareness month is we have a very good screening tool called colonoscopy uh, to screen people for it. So really, because it's a common enough cancer, everybody is at risk for it. But you have average risk people uh, where we start screening now at 45, the new CDC guideline or is just start screening people at 45 and not 50 because we are seeing an uptick in younger cancers. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, if you have a family history of cancer or polyps, it more than doubles your risk if you have a first degree relative with cancer or with colon polyps. It more than doubles your risk of developing polyps or cancer. So if you're a higher risk, you need to be screened more, even earlier and even more often. Uh, but average risk, run of the mill, anyone with no at least close family history, uh, the incidence is high enough that screening everyone is well worth it and the new the new guidelines is at 45 because uh, we do find cancers and again if we caught early enough it's highly curable in the early stages greater than 90 95 percent chance uh, of surviving cancer at stage one there's even good long-term survival and chances of cure even at later stages so it's a cancer that we can really move the goalpost a lot sure. when we get it and then the earlier we get it the better your outcomes become well, and we love to hear that, and it gives us a lot of hope, right, for people who might be at risk. Doctor, are there any ways that people can prevent getting colon cancer? Um, really, the best preventative way is active screening. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we believe that a healthy diet, which is a high-fiber, low-fat diet, uh, does help against that. There's, there's some evidence that high-fiber does reduce the risk of colonic polyps. It's never been borne out in the data to really say it reduces your cancer risk, but it's a generally healthy diet anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. And... Uh, but it's really paying attention to symptoms because sometimes it can be vague abdominal pain, change in bowel habits, bleeding, um, that a lot of people will chalk up to hemorrhoids, sure. uh, which is a common cause of bleeding. But y you want to make sure that if you're having any of these symptoms to go ahead and get a colonoscopy, even if you don't meet screening uh, criteria yet, just to rule out something more serious. Sure. It's always good to, to check in with your doctor and always ask those important questions, even if it is difficult to talk about. So Dr. Benson, thank you so much for all of this information. We appreciate your time and your insight. And